Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Open for me the gates of righteousness, that I may go into them and give thanks unto the Lord. To this house of God. I, Emmanuel, all other co follow on Shadu, elected, confirmed, and consecrated Bishop of Elisha Diocese, come to this my cathedral of St. John, Eloro Elisha. First, I do make request of all my faithful people for their prayers that I be to them a faithful pastor and true father in God. For the honor and glory of Christ our Lord, who has purchased us to himself with his precious blood. Right, Reverend Father and God, we do welcome you most gladly in the name of the Lord. It shall be a joyful care 
to pray continually for you, beseeching God for his mercy to grant you in the government of Christ's church and the oversight of his flock, not a spirit of fearfulness, but of power, love, and discipline. We have come together on this special day as members of the city and diocese of Elisha to witness the inauguration of Bishop Emmanuel Oladapo for Lorusha Ashadu as our new father in God to welcome him as he begins his solemn responsibilities of spiritual and pastoral leadership and to surround him and his family with love and our prayers as we ask on his behalf for God's grace and help of the Holy Spirit for the task which lies ahead. Let us now offer our prayers for Emmanuel Oladapo Folorun Shashaju, our bishop, for this diocese and for all God's people. O oh Lord God, bless your servant, Emmanuel Oladapo Folorun our bishop. Make him a true shepherd, a man of God, a minister of Christ, and make us with him a joyful church, happy in worship, in witness, and walking, in caring, and in loving, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ be with you, Christ within you. Christ behind you, Christ before you. Christ behind you, Christ within you. Christ to come forth and restore you. Amen. Emmanuel, Oladapo, Follow Shashaju, Bishop in the Church of God, and our Bishop, we welcome you to your Cathedral Church the symbol and center of your pastoral, liturgical, and teaching ministry in this diocese. I, Emmanuel, Oladapo, Folon Rousseau Ashadio, thank you for your welcome. I promise God helping me to be a faithful shepherd and servant among you. I pray that the ministry which we will share may be pleasing to God and the whole church of God. Amen. I further request that I may be enthroned bishop with full episcopal rights in the cathedral church of St. John's Eloro Elisha and into the real and corporeal possession of the bishopric of Elisha. We are most willing so to do. But first, let the mandate of the Most Reverend Henry C. Ndukuba, by divine permission, Primate of all Nigeria, be read. I hereby present to you the practice mandate for my enthronement. Let the mandate be read. The mandate will the Most Reverend Henry C. Ndokuba, by divine providence, Archbishop, Metropolitan, and Primate of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, to our beloved in the Lord, the very Reverend David Iyola Faduba. The Provost of the Cathedral Church of St. John, Iloro, Elisha, Thousands of Elisha, greetings. Whereas, in accordance with the Canon 5, Section 4 of the Constitution and Canons of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion 2020, our beloved brother in the Lord, the Right Reverend 
Therefore, Ashaju was duly elected and translated bishop for the thousands of Elisha by the Episcopal Synod of the Church of Nigeria, which met under the protection and guidance of the Almighty God at the St. Andrew's Anglican Church, Rumupio County, Dowsies of Evo, River State, on the 24th, fourth day of February, St. Matthias Day, in the year of our Lord, 2022. We Therefore, commend the said Bishop Dapo to you and the Cathedral Church of St. John Iloro Elisha and demand that you give him due and canonical obedience. And we authorize and mandate you in accordance with the constitution and canons of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion to admit, install, and enthrone the said Reverend Dapo Ashaju into the real and actual and corporal possession of the said Bishopric of Elisha with all the rights, privileges, and appurtenances thereto belonging. Witness in our hands and seal in this metropolitan seal of Abuja this second day of April in the year of our Lord. 2022, in the 22nd year of our consecration and of our primacy, the third, signed the Most Reverend Henry C. Ndokupa, M.A., B.D., M.A., E.D., D.D., Archbishop, Metropolitan, and Primate of all Nigeria. Right Reverend Father and God, we now request you to make the declaration of fidelity to the status and observances of the customs of this cathedral church. Peace be unto this house. I, Emmanuel, by divine permission, the Bishop of Elisha do promise and swear that I will firmly observe the statutes and customs of this cathedral church and as much as it lies in me, take care that they are observed by others and that so far as it may rightly be done, I will increase the welfare and honor of the cathedral church. So help me God. I, Emmanuel, all Ladako, follow Nusho Ashayu, Bishop of Elisha, do promise to respect, maintain, and defend the rights, privileges, and the liberty of this church and diocese, and to rule therein with truth, justice, and charity, not lording it over God's heritage, but showing myself in all things an example to the flock. I will pay due canonical obedience to the primate and metropolitan of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion and his successors in office in all things lawful and honest. So help me God. Amen. Right, Reverend Father in God, we bid you welcome to this your cathedral church. We bid you welcome in the name of the Lord.
Emmanuel Olada Pofolon Shoshaju. By divine permission, the Bishop of Elisha, elected, confirmed, and consecrated, who has come to be enthroned in this my cathedral church, do now, in accordance with ancient custom, require of the lay members of the greater chapter and the standing committee of the cathedral of St. John's that they make profession of their obedience due to us as bishop of the said church. Congregation, please be seated. Right, Reverend Father, in God, we promise you a loyal obedience and receive you as a bishop and pray God to bless your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Emmanuel, for long show, or Lord Akwashaju, by divine permission, the Bishop of Elisha, elected, confirmed, and consecrated, do likewise require of the clergy of our diocese that they make to us, their diocesan, the customary profession of canonical obedience.
first Bible reading, Isaiah 60, 1 to 22. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covered the heart, and the thick darkness is over the people. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and king to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look about you. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters are carried on the earth. Then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wealth of the seas will be brought to you. To you the riches of the nations will come. Hells of Kermit will cover your land. Your Kermit of Media and Ifa and all from Sheba will come, bearing gold and incense and proclaiming the praise of the Lord. All Kedar flocks will be gathered to you. The rams of Nebo will serve you. They will be accepted as offerings on my altar. And I will adorn my glorious temple. Who are these that fly along like clouds, like dove to their nest? Surely the island look to me. In the lead are the ships of Tashis. Bringing your sons from afar with their silver and gold to the honor of the Lord your God, the only one of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendor. Foreigners will repeat your words, and their kings will serve you. Though in Naga I struck you, in favor I will show you compassion. Your gates will always stand open. They will never be shut, day or night, so that men may bring you the wealth of the nations. Their king led in triumphal procession. For the nation or kingdom that will not serve you will perish. It will be utterly ruined. The glory of Lebanon will come to you, the pine, the fire, and the cypress together to adorn the place of my sanctuary, and I will glorify the place of my feet. The sons of your oppressor will come bowing before you. All who despise you will bow down at your feet and will call you the city of the Lord, Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Although you have been forsaken and hated, with no one traveling through, I will make you the everlasting pride and the joy of all generations. You will drink the milk of nations and be nursed at royal breast. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am your savior your Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Instead of bronze, I will bring you gold and silver in place of iron. Instead of wood, I will bring you bronze and iron in place of stone. I will make peace your governor and righteousness your ruler. No longer will violence be heard in your land nor ruin or destruction within your borders. But you will call your world salvation and your gate praise. The sun will no, long, will no more be, be you, be your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you, for the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Your sun will never set again, and your moon 
will win no more. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of sorrow will end. Then will all your people be righteous, and they will possess the land forever. They are the shoot I have planted, the work of my hand for the display of my splendor. The least of you will become a thousand, the smallest a mighty nation. I am the Lord. In his time, I will do this swiftly. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out 
a fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Esaias. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty that them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fasting on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture, scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bear him witness. And wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? This is the word of the Lord. virtue 
of the mandate of the Most Reverend Father in God, Henry C. Ndukuba, by divine providence, primate of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. I install you and enthrone you, the Right Reverend Father in God, Emmanuel Oladapo Folorun Shashaju, elected, confirmed, and consecrated into the real, actual, and corporate possession of the Bishopric of Elisha, with all the singular rights, dignities, honors, privileges, and appurtenances there to belonging, and place you in the Episcopal seat of this Cathedral Church of St. John, Elora Elisha, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God keep you in his care. Christ win you and save you. The Holy Spirit guide you in the ways of truth and love. Both now and forevermore. May the people honor you. And may God himself support you. Show yourself worthy. Show yourself just. Lowly and steadfast a true apostle of Christ. God establish you in righteousness and in holiness in the church that you may attain to the company of the blessed and to the peace that knows no ending through our Redeemer Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit one God, world without end. Right Reverend Father in God, in the name of the clergy and the lady of the Diocese of Elisha, I now present to you the Diocesan Pastoral Staff, which is the symbol of your office. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Remember the words spoken to you at your consecration. Keep watch over the flock in which the Holy Spirit had appointed you shepherd. Encourage the faithful. Restore the lost. And build up the body of Christ. That when the chief shepherd shall appear, you may receive the unfading crown of glory. We, or Ladapo, by divine permission, Bishop of Elisha, receive this diocesan pastoral staff at your hand as a token of my jurisdiction and of my recognition, and so solemnly promise that I will observe and to the utmost of my power fulfill the responsibilities and obligations of this office striving in all things to be a faithful shepherd to the flock of Christ. So help me God. Amen.
present, present to you who have come to your cathedral church from all parts of the diocese, your bishop, the right reverend Emmanuel Oladapo for long and short, I shall do your bishop. And his dear wife. We bid you to welcome him in loyalty and truth. We Another, the sign of the peace with the wave of the hand. should be wrong at this moment. The Lord be with you. I'm told it's been wrong. Thank you. Presentations.
among us as one who studies the scripture, proclaim the word, and explore the faith, that we may all find in Christ the way, the truth, and the life. Be among us a high priest offering the church's liturgy and interceding for God's people that in the spirit we may draw close to the Father through Jesus his Son. Among us, a true example of a virtuous mother caring for her children, a leader leading by example, so that we might imitate you as you imitate Christ. Be among us as a virtuous woman an agent of reconciliation, showing God's forgiveness, his healing, and his love, that among us there may be holiness, unity, and peace. The Lord be with you. We are most fortunate to have our fathers in such a large array of numbers. I am aware that the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion will be consecrating new bishops tomorrow at Ake Eba. And there is a rehearsal today that they have to participate in. And so while the anthem is sung, I will beseech our fathers, your graces and my laws. So let us take the group photograph. Thank you very much. Many of our fathers will be leaving before the end of the service, so we need to take advantage of this now. Thank you. Your graces and my lords, please come. Archbishop, he, the Archbishop of the Church of Nigeria, led by the Dean of the Church of Nigeria, the next to the primate, will be in front, and our fathers will be behind. His Royal Majesty, our Father, Baba Owa, please join us. Mama Demowa, please. Mama Lumakaye. Mama Lumakaye. Mrs. Helen Oji.
sorry, I want uh, the KBC to be with us, our fathers. Thank you. His Royal Majesty, please. His Imperial Majesty, Mama Lori, please come here, sir. Baba. Mama bishops, please. Mama bishops, please come. Because we are going with your husbands, our fathers. Mama bishops.
Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us, the Lord's prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. O Lord, save our bishop, O Ladako, thy servants. Send him help from your holy place. Let not the enemy harm him. Lord, be unto him a tower of strength. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Father, who sin will reveal in majesty before he suffered death upon the cross, give us faith to persevere his glory that we may be strengthened to suffer with him and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever O God the pastor and ruler of thy church look down in mercy on your servants O Ladako our bishop to whom thou hast given church over the thousands of Elisha, and so direct and defend him by thy grace, that he may by words and good examples lead the flock committed to him unto the way of truth and love, holiness and peace, through him who is the good shepherd, thy son Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh Lord Jesus, who did charge the apostle that they should preach the gospel to every creature, prosper, we pray thee, the work of thy church in this diocese of Elisha, and so guide the minds of Oladako, our bishop, and those who walk with him, that thy people may be moved to extend to others the means of grace and to share with them the blessing of thy redeeming love who liveth and reigneth with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. So, is this right, Reverend Father, learned and faithful pastor, really and lawfully installed and enthroned in the bishopric of the Episcopal Seal of Elisha, what then remains? But to thank God upon this occasion and to petition the Divine Majesty that he may labor by works and doctrine, a good example to set forth the glory of God and consciously to govern his church that he together with the people committed to his church may at least attain eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God whose grace has called thee to this office be than aid and grant thee judgment knowledge, bounty purity, loneliness and patience establish thee in righteousness and holiness and evermore grant thee his peace through Jesus Christ our Lord
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the grace so bountifully showered upon every one of us, making it possible for us to be present at this enthronement service of the fifth bishop of your very historic diocese of Elisha. Thank you for our gathering. And as we go into your word, I beseech thee, O Lord, that in the beauty of your holy presence, the words of my mouth and the meditations of the hearts of your people who will hear me will be acceptable unto thee, and that you will in return bless each and every one of us bountifully, even as you bless this diocese, you bless Egyptian land, you bless Nigeria. In the name of God the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. We give glory to Almighty God for the event of today. And on behalf of my wife, Harriet, my children, my families, the Ashaju family, Lumakai family combined, we thank every one of you, fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, for your presence here. We are gathered here today for the inauguration of another ministry, the fifth in the Episcopal journey of this historic diocese of Elisha, founded 1974. We pay very great respect to our Father, His Imperial Majesty, Oba, Doctor, Gabriel, Adekunle Aromolano, the Owa Obokun Adimula, and the paramount ruler of Ijeshaland and Olori, Kabiesi, Kadi Okperori, Kibata Kukwese, Uluwa Danyesi Fuwao. We also pay very great respect to the son of the soil and the son of the diocese, representative of the governor of Oshun State, who is Alaji Benga, His Excellency Alaji Benga Yetola, represented by the chief of staff to the governor, our own Dr. Charles DJ Akinola. We recognize you very greatly. I had to release our Episcopal Fathers, because I am mindful of how the road is at a time like this. Going through Ibadan, getting to Abe Okota, they have to be there by 4 o'clock. And so we had to release them. And I promise that I will introduce them in abstentia. We had in attendance a total of 60 bishops of the Church of Nigeria Methodist South. 60 bishops. On common, on common grace, on common love, I shall duly acknowledge them. But before I do that, I want to, after acknowledging the presence of His Imperial Majesty, our Father, our host, I pay due respect to all our royal fathers, your royal majesties who are here present and chiefs of Ijeshalan. The Lord bless and keep you in the name of Jesus. I thank the primate of all Nigeria who will have been here, but for the fact that he has to preside over the uh, consecration rehearsal and the program tomorrow. We are grateful that the next to the primate was here, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Ali Bubal Lamido, Dean of the Church of Nigeria, Archbishop of Kaduna, and the Bishop of Uwosasa. He was here. We want to thank God for our father, our grandfather, his grace, the most reverend doctor and mama, our father, most reverend doctor Ephraim Adebola Ademowo, fellow Nigerian Academy of Letters, officer of the Federal Republic, doctor of philosophy, who was bishop here in Elisha, Started working in Elisha at the age of 29, was the chaplain to Baba Falope, and grew to become bishop here, the Dean Emeritus of the Church of Nigeria, former Archbishop of Lagos, my father. 
it was through the benevolence of this great father that my journey to the episcopate began he was the one god used in making me introduced to primate peter akiola and making me a bishop and we thank god for mama ademowo not just have you produced us you have mentored us up to this point heaven only will reward you in the name of the lord jesus christ we want to thank god for the archbishop of the province of ibadan where we belong and the bishop of ibadan north his grace was here most reverend dr shegun okubadejo we are grateful to most reverend professor george lashibikon former archbishop of ondo and bishop of ondo my father and also my mentor very specially with a rousing applause i want to recognize my brother-in-law his grace most reverend dr humphrey bami shebi olumakaye and professor mrs motorayo olumakaye for very important reason his grace archbishop of lagos is in the united kingdom very important and uh, i pleaded with him to please finish his business because by the time we chose this date he already had that commitment and i allowed him to please be there so from the united kingdom he's joining us online and his grace has sent his greetings to you he was instrumental to my being here as bishop of elisha in very major ways we thank god he spent all his years here serving in ejesha land he was there as a vicar at Kappa. He was there as St. James's Emo. I was always here with him. And we thank God for his life. Another round of applause for the way God has used them to bless me. He is the junior brother to my wife. My wife, Barista Mrs. Harriet. Ashayu Ni Olumakaye. We are grateful for that connection and that opportunity. We thank God for most reverend Dr. And Mama Shegun the retired Archbishop of Kwara, Bishop of Kwara, the Right Reverend, and Mama, a rounding applause. My immediate predecessor, a father indeed, a great churchman, and the man whom God used to pilot the affairs of this diocese. Welcome, Right Reverend S.O. and Mama Showale. Thank you very much, my Lord. Very grateful. We welcome our former Archbishop of Quara also, and also someone who has worked here over the years, His Grace, uh, Most Reverend Michael Akiyemi. Most Reverend Akiyemi is here. We want to thank God for the following of our fathers. Right Reverend Joseph Olushola, who is the, was the supervising vis, uh, bishop for this diocese prior to this entrumment uh, service. We thank you very much. We want to thank God for Right Reverend Professor Oshwade, who is here, seated in the congregation. We thank God for the life of the Right, Baba was the retired bishop of Ogomosho, Right Reverend and Dr. Mrs. B.J. Adeyemi, Bishop of Badagri, Right Reverend Samuel, Egbebumi, the Lord Bishop of Elisha Southwest. Right Reverend Duke Akami Soko, Bishop of Dukwa Kubwa, Abuja. Right Reverend and Dr. Mrs. Olushola Odedeji, Bishop of Lagos West. All the way from Plateau State, Right Reverend Stanley Fube, Bishop of Lantang. The Right Reverend Aruapo, who joined in leading the prayer, the Bishop of Ole. The Right Reverend Olono Femi, Bishop of Esako. The Right Reverend and Mrs. Joseph Musa, Bishop of Ida. The Right Reverend and Mrs. Olaoye, Oshun North. The Right Reverend and Dr. Mrs. Uwabio Lua and Mama Margaret uh, Uluyamo, Ijesha North. Right Reverend Stephen Akobe Kaba. The Right Reverend Akinlade Ife. The Right Reverend Okuyalu 
Oshun Northeast, the Right Reverend uh, Mrs. Fabu Luje Oke Oshun, the Right Reverend Dr. Akambi Ofa. As I introduce them, I introduce their wives alongside, please permit me. The Right Reverend Paul Ojo, my home bishop, Ijumu, Kogi State. The Right Reverend Festus Davis Ogori Magongo, the wife of the former Bishop of Okoshun, Mrs. Enrieta Taiwo, came all the way from Abuja, the wife of the late uh, Funshaw Taiwo. The Right Reverend Jolly Oyekwe, Bishop of Akoko Edo. The Right Reverend S.J. Kokono Ijebu North. The Right Reverend uh, Mrs. Adirogba Jeba. The Right Reverend Ibikunle, Methodist Bishop of Shagamo. The Right Representative of the Bishop of Makodi. Two of them came all the way from Makodi, representing Bishop Iyom. Thank you, Canon and Reverend. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Right Reverend and Dr. Mrs. Odunton, Ajayi Krada University. The Right Reverend and Mama Akinatere, Lord Bishop of Awori. Right Reverend Dr. Amama Iku Polati, retired Bishop of Ijumu. Mrs. Olubawale, representing the Lord Bishop of AKTOK. Right Reverend Dr. Williams Alade Kube, Bishop of Ojo. Right Reverend Timothy Adewole, Bishop of Kwara. Right Reverend Jide Adebayo, Bishop of Ibomina West. Right Reverend and my father, Baba Ronti Odubogon, one of my mentors, took me from when I was a priest and the Bishop of if uh, retired, the Right Reverend Ekupo Ola, Bishop of Ibadan South, the Right Reverend Festus Shubanku, Bishop of Umaran, Right Reverend Folusho Babatunji, Bishop of uh, Oshun, the Right Reverend Andrew Ajayi Ekiti Kwara, Right Reverend G.O.B. Bada, Bishop of Akoko, uh, Bishop Adekola of Ibumina, Right Reverend Adeyemo, retired Bishop of Ibumina, Right Reverend Ola Yinka, Bishop of Ibumosho, and then Right Reverend uh, Baba, I've mentioned earlier on, Most Reverend Adeyemi, uh, former Bishop of uh, Kwara, the Right Reverend Baba, a uh, retired Bishop of uh, Ibumina West, Baba Akinola, we were consecrated together 12 years ago. Uh, right Reverend Jiwa Akinola, yes, Right Reverend Baba, Father M.O. Owada, your retired Bishop of Eba, my father, my mentor, Baba Owuluwo Kure, Baba, my Lord, thank you very much for mentoring us. Baba Lokure is here. We have uh, the Methodist Bishop, Baba Bishop Atolaye is here. The Bishop Princess Omole Ekon, Director of St. Francis College of Theology, Wusasa, and former Bishop of Zonkwa, Bishop Borokini of Udu Diocese, Bishop Professor Obi Jolly, former Bishop of Akoko, Bishop Sheyi Oyelade, and the Bishop of Ife is Modakeke, Bishop Olatunji, Methodist Bishop of Ijeshano, uh, Bishop Agara, Bishop of Iduani, uh, Baba uh, Bishop Professor uh, Dr. Solomon Amushon, retired Bishop of uh, OK Ogun, and then uh, the present Bishop also of uh, OK Ogun will represent you, our uh, dear father. We have with us so many of our fathers here, but very specially, permit me. To recognize the father who consecrated me bishop and who has mentored me ever since i started this my episcopal journey he created the office of the bishop theologian which never existed in the anglican communion and has brought me up to this level he prayed for me this morning and sends his greetings the former bishop uh, primate of the church of nigeria most reverend dr peter jasper akiola he sends his royal greetings it is a prayer that the Almighty God will bless all our fathers and mothers who have found time to join us in Jesus' name. I will be making due recognitions of quite a number of our dignitaries after the sermon, please. The Lord be with you. Whenever we have an inaugural sermon, it is an opportunity for us to give direction to what God is asking us to do at a time like this. The theme of my sermon to us today is the shepherd, the sheep, and the commission. The shepherd, the sheep, and the commission. It is a very special description of what is the responsibility of a servant of the Lord called to the office of the bishop. A bishop 
is the chief shepherd of his people. And we have been called to do just that for this diocese. My text is taken from Isaiah chapter 61, the portion that has followed the text that was read today by the Chancellor, and that is Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60 was addressed to the Israelites at a point when things were very difficult for them. They had gone through crisis just as Nigeria is going through now and the Lord was giving them hope for tomorrow. And so a shepherd is called to shepherd his people in all vicissitudes of life. In the text read to us, Israel was told to arise and shine because his light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon them. The author Isaiah described the time as a time full of darkness everywhere. But he gave a word of assurance that the Lord will arise over them with joy, with light, and it will turn their stories around for good. And so I pray that as we start our ministry today, the Lord will hear our prayer in the initial diocese and turn the lot of Nigeria around for good in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The promises that he gave here in this Isaiah chapter 60 is that even though darkness may cover all over the world, God will be there for us. And he gave promises of what will happen because we are at a time when people are asking, we never expected the country to be this way. Every part of the country had experienced one form of problem or the other. They are lifting up their eyes onto the hills from where come their help. Their help will come from the Lord who makes the heavens and the earth. And so he said here that even though you have been forsaken as a people, as a nation, and even though you had lost part of your glory, the Lord will return your excellency. And he will bless you so much that your blessing will be all over the world. Can I hear amen? amen? He even said that everyone will receive one blessing following the other. For brass, I will promote you to gold. For iron, I will promote you to silver. For wood, you will become brass. For stone, you will become iron. He said your officers shall be peace. Your exactors will be righteousness. Hear this, violence shall no longer be had in our land, in the Jesha land, in our state, in Nigeria, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wasting and destruction will not be had again within our borders. We shall call our world salvation, and our gate shall be called praise. The sun will no longer be our light, but God Almighty will be unto us everlasting light. He says that our sun will no longer go down. The glories of all the children of Egyptian land will never go down. The glory of all the people in this land and the church of God will never go down. Our people shall be righteous. They shall inherit the land. And there shall be promotion for every one of us. A little one shall become a thousand. A small one shall become a nation. The Lord said, I, the Lord, will hasten to fulfill this. In Isaiah chapter 61, when Jesus was about to start his ministry, he gave his manifesto. And that manifesto was very instructive. You cannot be more Christian than the Lord Jesus. You can only replicate what the Lord has given to us as example and also follow the commission that he has handed down to us. So he came into the temple and he was given the scroll of Isaiah and he read... What did he say? He said, the spirit of the Lord, God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to those who are captives, the opening of the prison to them that are bound, 
to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who are mourning to appoint unto those who are mourning in Zion Christians who are facing difficulties to give unto them beauty instead of ashes the oil of joy instead of mourning the garment of praise instead of the spirit of depression or heaviness so that the people might be called oaks of righteousness and they shall be called the planting of the Lord that they may be glorified and they shall build the old waste they shall raise up the former desolation and they shall repair the waste cities the desolations of many generations and strangers shall stand and feed our flocks for our shame we shall receive a double compensation for our confusion we shall rejoice in the portion of the Lord therefore we shall possess double and everlasting joy shall be unto them praise God the church has a responsibility to be like the Lord Jesus and to take the gospel to all nations of the earth. Jesus went about doing good, healing and liberating all those who are oppressed of the devil because God was with him. When he was born, he brought light to the world. He lived a sinless life. So Christians are supposed to be bearers of the gospel of light. And we thank God for the history of Christianity in Egyptian land. I thank Baba Demowo for two books that he authored, Christianity in Egyptian land, and also the history of the Apostolic Church in Egyptian land. His PhD thesis at Obafemiolo University, Lefe. I read a lot about the origins of Christianity in this great land. This land is a land of Christianity. This is a land of revival. This is the land of glory. This is a land where God has blessed your children. You are cooked in evangelism. You are baptized in the Holy Spirit. And you have the zeal of Almighty God in you. So coming to a Jesha land, come to a land that is already heavily anointed. A land that is heavily glorified with the presence of the Lord. We cannot we, but talk about the ministry of the founding father, Baba Falokwe. We cannot but remember the legacies that they left. We remember the ministry of Baba Gideon Olajide. We remember the ministry of our dear father and mama, Adebola and Uluroti Ademowo. We remember the ministry of our father, Bishop and mama Shuwale. They all have laid very solid foundations for which God will mightily reward them in Jesus' name. I appreciate all their contributions and I look unto Almighty God to enable me to build upon that foundation. I beseech you to put me in your prayer. I know nothing. I can do nothing. But with God, we can do all things. Yesterday, we were at the palace of His Imperial Majesty, your Imperial Majesty, sir, and Mama. Thank you for welcoming us to the palace as your son and your daughter. We have come among you. And my father lived in Elisha here. And I'm glad Mama is here. When they lived in Elisha, grew up here in Elisha, and we've had our connection with this land. And we are thanking God for the spirit of the Christian leadership that His Imperial Majesty is giving to us. We read your books when we were in school, Baba, and you contributed to making us. And we are glad. We are glad. We are glad, Kabiesi, for the way you have impacted us and for working us. And you have opened the door of the palace unto us. And as I thank you for that welcome, I also thank the Ashua Jew of Ijeshalan, Chief Yinka Fasri, who is present here very specially. Your presence here is very, very unique. You represent a segment that cannot be toyed with at all. We are grateful. Thank you very much for receiving the blessing of the royal fathers of this land. We thank God for Pa Elton, who was the father of Pentecostalism in Nigeria. I look forward to going to that man and seeing where he lived. And I'm, I'm told that the daughter is still there today. He was the one who trained many of the fathers of Pentecostalism today. Why did he base here in Elisha? God told him from United Kingdom, Elisha shall be your base. So this is a base for the launching of Christianity all over the world. 
It is also the base for the ministry of Joseph Ayo Babalola at Okoye. He did a lot of miracles. And I want us to please remember whatever these people did, the Anglican Church contributed a substantial part to it. Babalola was a member of the Anglican Church. Moses Orimolade of the CNS was the member of the Anglican Church. Enoch Adeboye is my parishioner at Ifewara. W.F. Kumuyi is my parishioner at Erin Jesha. When W.F. Kumuyi was 80 years old, I was the one he called to go and preach. I preached at Kumuyi's 80th birthday. And he said, do you know the reason why I am called William Kumuyi? He said it was the pastor, the Anglican priest of, the, of their church who gave me the name Williams. They brought him to be baptized. And they asked, what shall we call this child? And the parents were calling other names. And the vicar said, no, this child shall be called Williams. So he said, I am still Williams Kumuyi today because I was baptized and confirmed in the Anglican church. We give glory to Almighty God. Many of the leaders, is the Uma Okpa, is the Wale Oke, the president, president of the PFN Nigeria. His father was a lay leader for about 40 years in Ibadan there. And so we see that Anglican Church has produced all these people, whether Babalola, whether Paetin, all of them. This is the land that we have come to walk. The Lord will help us as he helped those other people in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank God. We are not proud. We thank God for what he has made of us today. And we thank God for the joy of bringing us to be here today. I wish my father were alive to see this day. I never expected I would become an Anglican priest. But my grandfather was the late Oba Joseph Babalola Ashajo Olubede of Bede Olujumu of Ijumu. He took a crown from Ijesha land, from the Owa of Ijesha, from the Alake of Eba, from the Alafi of Oyo, from the Oni of Ife. And he said, I want my son to be an Anglican priest. So he handed my father over to Reverend Hunter at All Saints Church, Lagos. He said, this boy, we are Anglicans. My son must be an Anglican priest. So he handed over my father to the Reverend Hunter and said, let this boy live in the vicarage. But my father tried as he wished. He didn't become an Anglican priest. He was a journalist. He rose to become the president of the Nigerian Union of Journalists. Chief Michael Ashaju of Blessed Memory, and my mother, Olori, Alice Oladekwe Ashaju of Blessed Memory, they worked in journalism. So when he couldn't become a priest, he too went to the altar and prayed. Around 1940, 41, he said, if I couldn't become a priest, then one of my sons must become a priest. I never knew he prayed that prayer. I only knew that wherever I turned, the Lord was blocking my way. I wanted to be a lawyer twice. For two years, universities refused to offer me admission to read law. They said, all we can give you is Christian religious studies. I didn't know it was the prayer of my father that was blocking me. So reluctantly, I read Christian religious studies. And eventually, I became ordained as a clergyman of the Anglican Church. I was made a vicar, 1998, vicar of Church of Epiphany, Iba Estate. And my father came to take Holy Communion at my hand for the first time. He came, as soon as I gave him Holy Communion, he started crying. Why are you crying in my church? He said, you can't understand. Give me a microphone. He said, I prayed that one of my sons must be a priest of the Anglican church. Today, my prayer of 1940, the prayer of my father, grandfather was Oba, my father too was Oba of uh, uh, a letter of Iyara. So I come from a royal family. And so he said, my prayers have been answered today. So the prayer of my father is putting me on the pulpit today. He never lived to see me be a canon or a venerable or a bishop. But today, may his soul rest in perfect peace. The almighty God will make us who we will become. It was the prayer of Hannah that brought Samuel into the ministry. And so we are called to be the bearers of the light of God. We are called to save the lost. We are called to be the light of the world and to be the salt of the earth. We are called to be the healing agent of God everywhere we find ourselves. We are called to be the watchman over the society. 
And I'm sure a number of you, to the glory of God, you go to YouTube and you type that Kwashajo, you will see so many of my messages where God has given me opportunity to speak for the entire body of Christ in this country. So our ministry is not just to the Anglican church. I have a ministry to the world. It is a ministry that we touch every part of the world and Africa and Nigeria and across the whole of Egypt land in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not be bishop of Elisha alone. I will be a bishop who has interest over the whole of Egypt people, home and abroad in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are, I will go look for them. I will go to Kaduna, I will go to Kano, I will go to Ibadan, go to Lagos, go to London, go to America, go to Germany, go look for your sons and your daughters. The Lord will bring the glory back in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the ministry of the Lord that has given unto every one of us. The Lord has been very kind. Jesus was teaching. Jesus was healing the sick. Jesus was performing miracles. Jesus was saving souls. Jesus was liberating those who are oppressed. At the end of the day, he gave his life as a sacrifice for the remission of the sins of the whole world. He was the greatest person that ever lived. The world has never been the same ever since the Lord came to office. So the long and short of it is, I want to walk like Jesus. I want to serve like Jesus. I am absolutely nothing. Forget about being my bishop. I've been a bishop for 12 years. This is my 13th year as a bishop. I was a bishop, theologian, supervising theological education of Church of Nigeria. I've been a professor. I've been a vice chancellor. I've been in the university system almost 40 years now. But all these things amount to absolutely nothing. Paul says, I come to you not in the lofty philosophies of men. I come to you in the demonstration of the power of God. Our goal is to be like Jesus, to humble ourselves like Jesus, to visit the sheep wherever the sheep will be, to be a father unto them. When we have a hundred and one is lost to leave the ninety-nine, I go for one. And so, by the grace of God, I want to be like him. I want to be like the apostles. And with your prayer, the Lord will make it possible too in the name of Jesus Christ. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? The salvation of soul is what is most important. I was glad yesterday when we were with his imperial majesty. And we know that every year they've been having crusade at the palace of his imperial majesty. Baba Showale brought me as one of the ministers of the Jesus celebration. My Lord, you brought me here to come and be a guest preacher almost 20 years ago. I came to preach here. And we have been doing that other 18 to 20 years ago. I've been there. So when you have a palace that is Christianized and our father is so committed, I was told yesterday, this imperial majesty will take care of all the denominations in this Egyptian land. Anglican church will not behave only as Anglican church. We behave first and foremost as Christians. God has many children. And every minister is called to minister to all the children of God. There is no discrimination among anybody at all. Jesus said, I have come not for those who are well, but for those who are sick. It is a sick person who needs a doctor. He came. He meets with the tax collectors. He meets with the sinners. He meets with the poor people. He was able to cross boundary. He spoke to the Samaritan people and he was able to heal wounds that had been there for so many years. My mission by the grace of God can be summarized very briefly in the, the following. Number one, massive evangelism. Number two, ensuring the conversion of souls in the nooks and crannies of Egypt and beyond. Number three, to ensure genuine Christian living and a life of holiness among all those who are Christians. It is by their fruit you shall know them. Without holiness, nobody shall see the Lord. Concentrating on our young ones, we want to grow them up in such a way that they will be people who are strong in the Lord, who are seriously empowered. We also, number four, want to pray for revival in all our parishes as well as in other areas, even outside our diocese and denomination. Number five, we want to promote a priesthood of all believers. The concept of the priesthood of all believers is the concept where every child of God is an evangelist. Every child of God is a healer. Every child of God is a deliverance minister. For the Lord Jesus Christ said to the disciples in Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 and 8, wherever you go, Egyptian people, you will preach the gospel. Can I hear you, amen? Yeah. All of you will heal the sick. All of you will cleanse the lepers. 
All of you will cast out demons. All of you will raise the dead. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number six, to maintain church discipline. Discipline in all ramifications. Discipline among the clergy, the clergy wife, and the laity, and all the officers of our great diocese. We want to ensure excellence in academics in every area of educational endeavor. And it is not a coincidence. Uh, so we were being ushered into Ijeshalan. That same day, the governor of Oshun State pronounced the College of Education a university. We want to talk about also, we want to pursue a church that is spiritually sound and theologically very erudite among all our clergy. A situation where all puppies become solution ground to meet the needs and the aspirations of the people. We want a caring church that is a family. We want to empower the children and the youth. We want to enthrone the spirit of entrepreneurship for which the Jeshas are known all over the world. We want to promote church planting by the grace of God. We want to run a church that has integrity. We want to run a church of financial prosperity. The Almighty God will banish poverty from our land in the name of Jesus Christ. I said the Almighty God will give us the showers of prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. We want a church where political leadership will come to the church members by the grace of God. For the Bible says when the righteous are in power, the people will rejoice. When the people who are unrighteous are in power, the people will mourn. We are mourning in Nigeria because the people who are the people of light are not in charge. The new dispensation coming, the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to promote Christian family. Christian family. We want to go back again to the building of Christian family, the Anglican tradition way. Proper Anglicanism. Proper upbringing. The Anglican church where you have morning prayer every morning, evening prayer in every family, where we follow the rubrics of our church. Our church is known for the hymn book, ancient and modern. A church where the ancient are at home, fully compliant, a church where we also allow the Pentecostal power under the leadership of the Holy Spirit to move. A place where all of us have rule in the church of God. And I beseech the ministers of God, no one knows it all. All of us must go back and retune and refine ourselves under the leadership of the Holy Spirit to be relevant in our ministry to the needs of the people. And the Lord will help us to achieve this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to build a church that is emphasizing prayer. We want to build a church that is emphasizing people making it to the kingdom of heaven. We want to build a church where we all are builders. And above all in Ijesha land. Ijesha people are one. Diocesan creation is just for administrative convenience. We are all one people. God will give us the grace to build a church and Ijesha land and a ministry where we are all united, all dioceses in Ijesha land, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever problems we have on ground, the Almighty God himself will solve it. The Almighty God will give us reconciliation. The Lord will give us the freedom and the love to interact with one another, always in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, I'm very glad that the presence of Bishop Ekbebumi is here, and we will work together by the grace of God, and we pray that God will help us. No man knows the answer. Christ, Christ knows the answer and he shall give us the answer in the name of Jesus Christ. The heart of kings are in the hands of the Lord. And the Lord will move the hearts of every one of us, both parties, that we will be able to achieve a reconciliation in the name of Jesus. Because at the end of the day, all of us, we want to make heaven. Nothing will be a hindrance to our making heaven in Jesus' name. It is not possible to have a society where there will be no quarrel. It is natural to have quarrel. It is also spiritual that the quarrels will be resolved. The Lord will help us to be able to get it done in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, 
oni ju ete mi se eyin yo se emi lo sodo baba mi te ba bere nkun lo baba mi yo se fun yin be se wa si bi ni ojo oni gbogbo iyanu te nfe o ma teyin lowo gbogbo adawo le yin o ma yo risirere itan kale hin rere ti a ti mo eje sa fun oluwa youtube o ma je kale po longo re o mo ti ki awon baba wa to ti sise ni bi bayi mo ti dupe lowo olorun fun ise ti won ti se mo dupe lowo olorun fun baba fa lope mo dupe lowo olorun fun awon baba olajide mo dupe fun baba de mo mama de mo wo mo de dupe fun baba ati mama so wale gbogbo ti won ti ko sile o nla fe tele lagbara olorun ito olorun ba de fun wa se a o se a o wa lati wa joga lori yin lori okan la je ninu jesu christi ko se ya ni arin wa e je ka mura wa gege be eyo kan e je ki fe oluwa ku so wa po gbogbo to ba je ija laarin wa ku oluwa ku pari re ire po yo pada wa sile je sha a ku lo wa a pada wa ola wa dara okan wa bale oluwa yo sure fa won lori wa oluwa yo ro wa lowo lati je ore ara wa oluwa yo dani ese wa ji wa gbogbo ona ta ti kuna ko luwa ko da wa pada si ona otito be ni yo ri o oluwa yo sure fun ile je sha o loruko jesu christi oluwa wa jesu wa lati wo san jesu wa lati dani nide jesu wa lati to wa si ona olorun o de jowo emi re lati ra wa pada ko so nkun tu ja mo nkun bi ko se ni pa jesu christi paul lu so pe emi o je nkan kan bi ko se jesu mi o fe mo nkan kan nipa yin bi ko se ni pa jesu christi oluwa wa e jo mo be yin ati mi ati yawo mi die ni temi ninu ise yi bo te je ke mi ni bishop iyawo mi o lo ma se alakoso gbogbo awon obirin e de mo pa won lo poju ninu gbogbo gbogbo ijo e jowo e ba mi di won mu be se di awon baba wa mo lateyin wa ati awon mama wa e ba mi di won mu e ba mi ran won lowo oluwa fun wa ni oro fe lati se ase yori o mo gba dura ke gbogbo yin te wa te rin rin ajo lato kire ati awon to sumo bi bayi e dire layo atalafia ayin awon iyan mi na to wa lati ijo mo ton wa won po mo dupe lowo yin o i want to thank the chancellor of this diocese lord chancellor of the diocese chief felix fagbongbe senior advocate of nigeria who since we came here has accepted us as his own and has given us all favors i thank the deputy chancellor i thank the registrar i thank the legal secretary i also thank the visiting legal officers who have come from outside especially matolui from the diocese of lagos we thank all those who have functioned to ensure that this uh, entrustment service is successful we thank the chairman of the implementation committee we thank very well all our fathers who are benefactors to us chief tunde afolabi professor olada who is who, who also afolabi who promised that they will be here we will thank by the grace of the almighty god the uh provost of this cathedral i thank you so much for your welcome ever since we came you have done everything possible to make our coming here very very successful i thank all the clergy of this diocese canons venerables and all of you in your various ranks i thank you very much for all god has used you to do i thank my mother mama abigail olumakaye our surviving mother mama comfort ashaju is also here representing our mothers in the ashaju family i thank our dear sister sister helen oji all the way from america has come here to participate in this service immediate sister of my wife others will be thanked later on but please corporately thank all the clergy thank all the lay members of this very great diocese all our friends and those who have come from other parts of the world i will be acknowledging you towards the close of this service at the appropriate time for the recognition of people including the diocese board and all other members of this great diocese ACNN must be specially mentioned for covering it and giving it life all over the world. I want to say to the youth, we will work together by the grace of the Almighty God. And the Lord will help us to ensure that we take Ijeshaland for Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you all, our dear fathers and mothers, for your attention. This is what we are believing God to enable us to do. And there are other things that the Almighty God will teach us to do. It is my prayer that he will give us the enablement to be able to carry them out in the name of Jesus Christ. And now unto God 
the author and the finisher of faith, he who has called, he who has enthroned, and he who will lead us in this journey of faith, be honor, glory, and adoration now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once again, let's put our hands together for that very inspiring, spirit-directed, and also prophetic message that has just been given to us. Before we go into the next hymn, uh, which is on page 28, now we're going to take an offering for this diocese. It is called Covenant Seed. Seed. Covenant Seed Offering for the Diocese of Elisha. And I want it to be a special one, not just any Covenant Seed, because it will be the first offering that my Lord Bishop, the Right Reverend Professor Dapuashaju, will be receiving uh, as the dancer, Somebody is patient A so or your elderly at my level. Not so you imagine what they do to people who are younger. Generously. The covenant seed is not a covenant seed of 500 naira or 1,000 naira. It's a seed that will bring plentiful harvest for you and which also will be used for the development of this diocese. Ufekafitayotayoshayifilole Irubi, Ihirere, Pelu Majemu, Pelu Olorun, Full Ministry, Babawa, Bishop Watutu, and I want it to be a big one, not a small, not a small offering. Praise the Lord. In fact, I am expecting that we give in thousands, in millions. Bofa Kashe Ipilere, Kashe Foundation, Kashe Kale Foundation, solid financial foundation for the diocese. And I want you to put your hands into your pocket. If you have 50 naira there, don't bring it out. If you have 500 naira there, no. But if you have 1,000 naira, 10,000 naira, 50,000 naira, but I'm sure you don't have that big amount, but you probably have your checkbook. Please write your check in the name of Anglican Diocese of Elisha. Let's support Bishop Ashadu. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We we'll sing the next hymn. There shall be showers of blessing. Guide of steward, please rise. Take row by row. Put your offering. If you have that envelope, please put it there. Tau bas in the envelope. I must say, you know, I just have your word to that as well. Hallelujah. Go on. We stand to sing, please.
We shall take only one stanza of to God be the glory. Before we go into the Thanksgiving, we thank you so much for your patience. Our fathers will address us very briefly. Our father, ecclesiastical father, is Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Ephraim Madibola Demowo, will address us. Then after that, we will have our dear uh, representative of the governor of Osho State to also address us. And after this, the Sakuba anthem will be rendered. In my honor, as a member of Sakuba, uh, Professor Angoshe is here at 90. Baba is still be able to come and make it. So members of Sakuba, very briefly, then we go to Thanksgiving. The rest of the service will be through it very shortly. Thank you very much for your patience. It's my pleasure to welcome our father, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Ephraim Adibola at the Mowo to address us. <laughs> Dean Emeritus, State of Nigeria, former Bishop of Elisha, former Bishop of Lagos and Archbishop of Lagos. Your Grace. In Peleo, we go Praise ye the Lord. When Baba Elisha informed me that I should say a word or two, I became flabbergasted. I felt so overwhelmed with joy because Ijesha land is my home. At the age of 23, 
I was a deacon in this church. And all along, deacon, priest, canon, archdeacon, bishop. We are very, very happy for the caliber of the bishop that we have got. It is heartiest congratulations to all of us. When we had the photograph, I whispered to His Imperial Majesty Kabiesi that our bishop is newly secundus, second to none. And we appreciate what the Lord has done for us. Yesterday, I mentioned it, that God has answered our prayers. Baba Elisha, Baba Shaju is a reincarnation of Baba Falope. And Mama Shaju is a reincarnation of Mama Falope. So when you go back, let our people know that there is a reincarnation of Falope that has come to Jesha land. I'm sure you heard the sermon, what he told us. I remember when Baba Alesha came to speak to the bishops in Newi. He wasn't a bishop then. The primate asked him to come. And he came there and the primate said, you are going to speak for 10 minutes. Professor, 10 minutes. When he spoke for 10 minutes and he then told us that my time is up, we said, for where? Fire on. Continue. And then we now took a decision that he should come with us to Jerusalem so that he can speak there. When we got to Jerusalem, they picked on theologians all over the world. And he represented Nigeria. When he presented his paper and he spoke, everybody we gave him from US, from New Zealand, from Canada, from the United Kingdom, we all gave him a standing ovation. I stand here in the house of God to testify that God has given us all anthropos to Theu. God has given us a man of God. That's the meaning. And Mama Shaju, a woman of God. My joy today knows no bounds. You will see me regularly in Elisha. And mommy too, we will come here on a regular basis. I start to look at some of the choruses and the one that readily comes to mind. Toro yekin corny sorrow ye. 
Ashaju Iwolo Wikimia We all Ashaju Iwolo Wikimia We all O tu tu bi e jao mi Ala wo o mi ni jo jo O kare o Inu o la re lo wa yi o Ashaju iwo lo wiki mi ya pe o Ashaju iwo lo wiki mi ya pe o O tu tu bi e jao mi Ala wo o mi ni jo jo O kare o Inu o la re lo wa yi o Thank you May we respectfully call on the Chief of Staff of the Governor's Office representing His Excellency to address us. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. I thank the diocesan, the bishop of uh, English Anglican Diocese, the Right Reverend Professor Oladapo Ashaju for the opportunity, the privilege to present this address on behalf of the governor of the state of Oshun, Mr. Adeboyega Oyetola at the enthronement service this morning. Um, but before I go into my speech as the address of the governor, I'd like to recognize my governor who is unavoidably absent here today. He traveled out of the country yesterday. He had postponed his trip twice. And he did it the final time on account of the commissioning of the geriatric center two days ago where we got the good news of the upgrade of the college of education to a full-fledged university. I'd like to recognize not spiritual and temporal, a real father, Awa Obokun Adimula, Paramount Ruler, Nisha Land, and Oluri. I'd like to recognize the Ashwaju of Nisha Land, Ashwaju Yenka Fashui, all the royal fathers and high chiefs who are here present. And I get back to uh, my constituency here. I'd like to recognize profoundly the primate of the Anglican Church, Anglican Communion, that Bishop Metropolitan and primate of all Nigeria, Most Reverend Henry Undukuba. I'd like to recognize our father here, Most Reverend Adebola Ademowo, and uh, Mama, Mama Lagos, Mama Lagos before. <laughs> like to recognize Most Reverend Shego Kubadejo, the province of Ibadan. And all archbishops who are here, Babolo Kure, special recognition. All the archbishops and bishops who are here to save time I'd like to recognize the entire Shaju Lumakaye families that are here present. I'd like to recognize the diocesan chancellor, Chief Felix Sofagbo Bay, and the provost of the cathedral, 
Very Reverend David Iola Faduba. Other priests and officiating ministers here present. All clergy wives and the children. Members of various religious societies and associations here present. Distinguished personalities present, particularly the chairman of ACCN Television, Sir Fulu Alamiti. I know the other reason why you're here, Chief Fulu Palomo. And uh, I will not want to just uh, get on the slippery, slippery ground. Uh, I recognize all very important dignitaries that are here present. Security operatives, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, well, for me personally, it's uh, it's an emotional afternoon again. Um, I've had the opportunity to be here, to in this very cathedral, to witness the enthronement of all the bishops that have been here in this diocese from Bishop John Falokwe, Bishop G.I.O. Olajide, Bishop then Adebola Adebowo, and Bishop Shuwale, and now to the diocese, right Reverend Oladapo, follow on Shuala, Ashaju, so when my governor told me to read the speech, I said it was indeed really an opportunity and a privilege to be here to represent him. I'm delighted to join the people of God today. This is the governor's speech. He's delighted to join the people of God today on this historic, very important occasion of the inauguration of the ministry and enthronement of Right Reverend Professor Dakwa. Follow on show, Ashaju. And let me start by giving thanks to God Almighty who has made it possible for us all to witness today's event. I rejoice with the entire members of the Diocese of Elisha, Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, on this very special occasion. Dear Right Reverend Professor Ashaju, I heartily congratulate you on this well-deserved honor, which is in recognition of your unprecedented contributions to the growth of Christianity in this country. Over the years, you have remained a powerful instrument in the spread of gospel, the spread of the gospel, and the advancement of God's kingdom on earth. Indeed, your elevation to this enviable position is an affirmation of your long-standing commitment and devotion to the service of God and humanity. We are proud of your accomplishments as a minister of God. We are proud of your accomplishments as an academic. We are proud of your accomplishments as an administrator of note. You are not only spiritually gifted, but also intellectually endowed. I'm therefore confident that you will bring to bear your years of experience and knowledge on the handling of this new assignment. As we all know, like every religion of the world, Christianity preaches and promotes love, tolerance, compassion, peaceful coexistence, and good neighborliness. Therefore, as religious leaders, we must continue to propagate and uphold the tenets and teachings of our religion and encourage our followers to do the same. We should always advise them to shun acts capable of causing disunity and religious intolerance. Similarly, we must desist from making inflaming comments that are capable of instigating violence among the people. By doing this, we are contributing to the peace and development of our state and our country. I would like to implore us to continue to pray for and support the efforts of government at all levels to address the lingering insecurity and other development challenges facing our country at this time. As an administration, we will keep doing our best to maintain peace and harmony in our dear state, as our dear state is reputed for peace. Permit me to also use this opportunity to reassure the citizens and residents of Osho that our administration will continue to prioritize the welfare and well-being 
of people of the state. Let me also use this medium to commend the Anglican Diocese and, and the Anglican community in Nigeria for its various empowerment programs and contributions to human capital development in Oshun and across the country. Once again, I congratulate Right Reverend Dapo for not ensure I charge you on your enthronement as the new bishop of the Elisha Anglican Diocese. As you continue your good works in the Lord's vineyard, I pray to God to grant you good health, more wisdom, and strength in service to him and humanity. Thank you, and God bless. Praise the Lord. Very briefly, the Sakoba Anthem, please. Baba Professor Bangboshe, please come, and all members of Sakoba. I am an honorary Andrean. Thank you. After this, we're going to the Thanksgiving. Please, Wolo. Sakoba members in the church come out for the Sakoba anthem, the college anthem, please. All members of Sakoba in the congregation, please come over. Thank you. the Lord. On behalf of Sakuba, we want to render our we want to render our college anthem. And it's always rendered when we want to honor people like uh, the bishop of um, this um, diocese. Um, if you go to the history of um, Elysia diocese, you will discover that um, you will discover that most of the bishops will be having they either be an andran or an andran that have been inducted. And in this case, Professor, our eminent. Professor Ashaju is honorary member of um, Sakoba. And as a result of that, we are using this opportunity to honor him by singing the National College Anthem. Um, organist. I think we can we can carry on. La 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 now the freedom of the rift was with wise hymns of praise Join to make the whole world ring with your praise of 
The Lord be with you. We move quickly now to the Thanksgiving. And then um, the Thanksgiving we go in two ways. The family members, the family members of the Ashajus, the Olumakayes, will come. And to accompany us will be the legal officers of this diocese place after that we have the general thanksgiving may god bless you please uh -huh. uh. praise the lord oh my soul praise the lord his imperial majesty oh, will join us and the representative of the governor will mm -hmm. join us thank you very much for our thanksgiving thank you Praise the Lord, oh my soul. This is the day He has made. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. This is the day He has made. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord of my soul, praise the Lord of my soul, hallelujah, this is the day I say, hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord, what shall we do today, today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. What shall we do today? Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in prayer. Oh, for I know, for I know, oh, I know, you are always there for me. You are the Almighty God, Almighty God. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are my Holy God. No matter what I face, no matter what I face. Yes, I will praise the Lord. What shall we do today? I'll the Lord. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. Today, oh, today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise.
never knew. I never knew. You will honor me this way. I never knew. I never knew. You will honor me this way. Oh. I never knew. You will honor me this way. You honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, I am ready to sing your praise. I don't go away until you do me something. Oh Lord, I am ready to sing your praise. Ready to sing your praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I am ready to sing your praise. I don't go away until you do me something. Oh Lord, I am ready to sing your praise. Ready to sing your praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, do my Lord. Baba wa ti Olorun wa se la dupe lowo yin fun te n se fun wa adupe fun iran se yin baba wa bishop alase ni diocese yi adupe pe eyan won fun wa lati je baba ilesha ati awon mama wa ise na e je ko se se fun won ise na e ba wa bo mirin akoko tan de sile ijesha loruko jesu christ e je ka mo fun rere ile wa e je ko roju ona wa e je ko raye kon ma lo lati pade ipa kon ma lo lati ogode ogo kon ma lo lati isegun de isegun ayo wa ko tubo ma po si ibukun wa ko tubo ma po si ise ihin rere ko ma gberu si father we prophesy the coming of your son your anointed the apple of your eyes into Ijesha land father we will know it for good in the name of jesus monumental achievements will be his portion in the name of jesus himself and the wife mama elisha they are Priscilla and Aquila. What you have started through them in Ijesha land, you will perfect in the name of Jesus. The work of the gospel will grow by leaps and bounds in the name of Jesus. The work of the gospel will grow with amazing rapidity in the name of Jesus. We thank you for his imperial majesty. Blessed be the eyes that see what is seen. Continue to strengthen him. Continue to be with him. We pray that his domain will continue to experience peace in all its ramifications in the name of Jesus. All of us in Ijesha land, the bond of love that binds us together will work stronger and stronger and stronger in the name of Jesus. Onwards, upwards will be our portion in the name of Jesus. We thank you, our Father and our God, for the clergy and their wives, the work will prosper in their hands in the name of Jesus. They will work together and support Baba Elisha and Mama Elisha as a team in the name of Jesus. We pray for the laity. Lord, you will continue to use them mightily. The diocese of Elisha, the name will be on the world's map in the name of Jesus. 
We pray for the chancellor, the deputy chancellor, other legal luminaries for what they are doing. You will reward them beyond their imagination in the name of Jesus Christ. We got started with this year as if it was yesterday. And we pray that this new month, calamity will never be a portion. Accident will never be a portion. The remaining part of this year, Lord, we pray, it will be all right with us in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today, all of us, the prayer of Jabeth, the Lord will bless you indeed. The Lord will enlarge your coast. His hands will be upon you for good in the name of Jesus. No evil will befall you. Your joy will always be full to overflowing in the name of Jesus. Your blessings will increase. Your joy will increase. Breakthroughs in your life will increase. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Oluwa mi mo dupe mo dupe ore te se fun mi ah bo mo pe mi wa baba mo dupe mo dupe mo dupe mo dupe baba oluwa mi mo dupe e se o jesu oluwa mi mo dupe oluwa mi mo dupe Would <laughs> Allahumma <laughs> wa Praise the Lord. Thank you. The general thanksgiving should be very orderly, please. Nobody is coming here to shake us. Just wave and then you quickly drop your offering and go back. And then we'll do the benediction and then we we'll do the notices and appreciate you and close. Thank you very much for your patience. So please, the ushers will direct us. We'll make it very quick and very sharp. Just drop your offerings and go back as directed through the aisle. Thank you. Thank you. You come through the central high and you go back through the left or by the right, by your right or by my by your right or by your left. 
Let's start from the back. From the back. Ati Amato Anita. Those who are outside and then from the back. Let's make it snappy so that we can leave this place in good time. Ibita si wate Amo fe yon le debe o Ayi yon loko Ayi yon loko Ayi yon loko Ayi yon loko Baba Ibita si wate Amo fe yon le debe o Ayi yon loko The free do pay for Thanksgiving. If you are ready, oh yeah, my boy. I want to buy t-shirt, my my boy. Oh go go, hey Baba. Oh go go, hey Baba. If you do not for me, but let my love be Baba. If you do not for me, but let my love be Baba. If you do not for me, but let my love be Baba. If you do not for me, but let Baba, Hashem, Yeshu, Hashem, Forget Hashem, Puwa. Baba, Hashem, Yeshu, Hashem, Forget Hashem, Laiwa. Ah, Baye, Siba, Puwa, Kolori, Mawa, Inolobo. Baba, Hashem, Yeshu, Hashem, Forget Hashem, Puwa. Kini pasheti ba fiyi ele duma we. Kini pasheti ba fiyi ba ugo. Ah, simba fi jo bi ugo. Ori ele duma we. Simba wa fori ko reko. Jehovah, 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 Jehov
Tupelo Moreo, Holua, Holua, Pemino, Tupelo Moreo. Oh, shit. Holua, Anima, Tupelo Moreo, Holua. Oluwa, Ebi ma dupe lo ware. Oluwa, Oluwa, Ebi ma dupe lo ware. Mama bore a ware gora o. Ose. Ah, Oluwa, Bashe a ware. Oni, I am a boy, a lawyer, a lawyer. Ah, a lawyer, 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 a a lawyer, a lawyer, a Ah, it's all came 
Maradi Bafu Baba Maradi Bafu Baba
Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the joy of today. Thank you for all your children that are dancing and rejoicing in your holy presence. For that which you have done for your child, whom you have enthroned here today. Thank you for the sources of our provisions. And thank you for the joy that fills our heart to give willingly to the work of yours in this place. Please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord and our Father, we commit your child unto you. As he has started well here, may he continue well in Jesus' name. The strength you need, the Lord will supply in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace and the favor you need here, the Lord will supply according to his riches and glory in Jesus' name. You will move from grace to grace. You will move from favor to favor in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never regret your coming here in the name of Jesus Christ. You will need good health to be able to do this work. The Lord will grant unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. For all our well-wishers that have contributed in one way or the other to the success of this program, we pray, Lord, we bless you in Jesus' name. You have come here safely. You will return safely in the name of Jesus Christ. The joy of today shall be everlasting in our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, gracious Lord. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, thank you, hold on.
Praise the Lord. We once again thank our Father, His Imperial Majesty, the Owa Book of Ijesha Land, Paramount Ruler of the whole of Ijesha Land. We are grateful, Your Royal Imperial Majesty, for Your presence and for Your blessings. We want to thank God again for the representative of the Executive Governor of Oshun State. Dr. Charles D.J. Akiola, thank you very much. God bless you, sir. The Chief of Staff to the Governor and the distinguished member of this diocese. We thank you so much, even as we count on your support for the days and years ahead. In Jesus' name. Again, we want to thank our fathers who are in the Chancel. His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Ephraim Adebola Ademowo Amama Ademowo, thank you very much for your patience and will bring in. I want to thank again our fathers who are here with us, still remaining to this point. Thank you for my Lord Bishops who are still here. We are very grateful. They've been mentioned earlier on. Again, the Chancellor, Chief Felix Fagwongwe, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, thank you. My Lord, Honorable Justice, Olajumoke Daramola, Deputy Chancellor, thank you, my Lord. Barrister N. Ogini, thank you very much, sir. Barrister Matthew, the Deputy Registrar, we thank you. The Chief Magistrate, Bose Awoson, Legal Secretary, thank you. And Mrs. Toluhi, Legal uh, Secretary of the Lagos Diocese, we are very grateful. I want to thank the Chairman of Implementation Committee again. Thank you very much. What is his name? Chief Omole, Tayo Omole. We are grateful. And all members who have worked with you, all committee members, we are very grateful. I want to thank our dear brother, Brother Falori. Thank you very much. All the way from Lagos, the worthy son of the diocese. We want to thank my father, Baba and Mama Lekon Fadina, former director of Nigerian Stock Exchange. They've taken me as their son. They've been here since yesterday. Thank you very much, Baba and Mama Fadina. We want to thank Professor Raf Akinfeleye, uh, Professor of Mass Communication of the University of Lagos, and an uncle to my wife. And through him, we want to thank all the indigents of Idore who have come here. I've seen representatives of Christ Church uh, Idore, representing my wife's family. I thank you very much. We want to thank God for Sir Fulu Olamiti, our uncle, the big father also of this, our family. And there uh, is the elder to the Olumakai family also now. We want to thank Evangelist Dr. and Mrs. Ifi Peter Ndiche of the CPNI Lagos. They've helped us a lot. We are grateful to them for their love. We thank uh, Professor Mrs. Mukwelola Omoegun, former member of the Governing Council of Ajay Crowder University. I want to specially thank the Vice Chancellor of Ajayi Crowder University, my successor in office, and his dear wife. Mama, we are so honored you have come with Papa today, Professor Timothy Adebayo. Thank you so much for all you are doing for our university, and thank you for your patience in waiting. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. The Deputy Vice Chancellor of Ajayi Crowder University, Professor Muiwa Bokbola, we thank you. The Registrar, we thank you. And the University Librarian, uh, Dr. Fabumi, we thank you. All staff, of Ajayi Krada University. I welcome you. I thank you for your presence. The Lord will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The rectors of all theological colleges of uh, the Church of Nigeria, thank you very much for your presence here. 
The Federal Road Safety Corps is represented by the sector commandment, representing the Commandant General, Mr. Dr. Oyeyemi. Thank you very much for your presence here. We thank all the staff and members of the Lagos State University who are here. Where are you? May God bless you. Thank you very much for your coming. Reverend and Reverend Mrs. Yemi Ayodele, we are grateful. Professor and Mrs. Moses Akombi, we are grateful. Members of the Chapel of Light, Lagos State University, thank you for your presence, led by the chaplain and the members, and the members also of the Chapel of Resurrection, University of Ibadan, and the Department of Religious Studies, University of Ibadan, led by the professors and the HOD. Members of the Church of Transfiguration, K2, Church of Epiphany Iba, I thank you very much. The rector and staff of the Crowder Graduate Theological Seminary, Abel Kuta, I am very, very grateful. I want to thank our parents, uh, my late father, Chief Michael Ashaju, Oba Michael Ashaju, and Ulluri, Alice Ashaju, in uh, memory. May God bless their soul continually in Jesus' name. And we thank our mother, Mama Comfort Ashaju. I want to specially thank, again, our dear mother, who is representing our father, Venerable T.A. Ulumakaye, of blessed memory, my father and my wife's father. We are grateful for Mama Abigail Iyabo Ulumakaye. God will continue to bless you to witness great lives in Jesus' name. I want to thank our elder sister, Mama uh, Helen Oji. Thank you, the elders in the Ulumakaye family. Thank you for mentoring your junior ones, coming all the way from United Kingdom. Regards to your husband, Ken Oji. We thank God for all others. We want to thank also Pastor and Mrs. Benga and Bola Bo Osho and the Osho families representing Benga Osho. Thank you for your presence. I greet all members of the Akerele family, my wife's second side, Oguri. And I greet also all my own family, the members of Ashajo family, led by our most senior brother, Dele, Prince Dele Ashajo and other junior ones, we are grateful. And the eldest daughter is uh, uh, Pastor uh, Grace Yebese uh, Oyebo. We thank you so much for the Oyebo family. Ajinihi family, my mother's side. And Mrs. Dupe Omofaye, my sister, who has come all the way from Lokoja. Thank you and greetings to the Honorable. And all our wives, beautiful, may God bless you in Jesus' name. All Iyara Ijumu indigents, St. Paul's Anglican Church Ijumu, we are grateful to you. We want to thank again all CPNI member, engineer and Mrs. Adeyemo. We thank all the friends of the family, Professor and Mrs. Ronke, Professor Mrs. Ronke Ogumaki. We thank her, Reverend Engineer Mrs. Adeyemo of Lagos Diocese. We are grateful for all the families that constitute Harriet's friends who are close. The Olofimbi years, the Adewalos, Jerome, Folonsho, Ribike, Mrs. Oladimeji, if Adewusi, and all others. God be with you in Jesus' name. The publishers of the Nice magazine, we thank you very much. Pastor Akinayinon, we are very, very grateful. I want to thank very specially the diocesan board. We want to thank the diocesan board of this, of this uh, diocese. We want to thank the uh, greater chapter members, standing committee members. We want to thank all our ministers of God, led by the provost, the archdeacons, canons, and the priests. We thank you very much. All the clergy wives. We are very grateful to you for all you have done. All the various Baba Ijos and Mama Ijos, we are very grateful. Again, all our chiefs, royal majesties, we are very grateful. We thank Sakuba and the leadership for your presence here. We thank all the parishes of this diocese, many, whether in Lisha, Iwaraja, Ife, Iwara, Iperido, Obokun, and all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to thank the women and guest organizations, women organizations, thank you very much. The organist and the choir and the press team, I am very grateful to you, all the youths who are here, lay leaders, guild of steward, all our wardens, all elders, fathers and mothers, we are grateful. ACNN, thank you again, led by Sir Olamity, we are grateful for the crew who have also come. We thank God for the principals and all the students of the schools that are owned by our diocese. Thank you very much for what God has used you to do and for your presence today. Chief Olu Fa Falore, we are grateful. Profe Falomo, we are grateful. Professor Olu Gwenru Jagede, my wife's uncle, former vice chancellor of uh, National Open University. We are grateful again to Professor Bangoshi and the chairman of uh, the Sakuba. And uh, we are grateful for Professor Christopher Oshun. We are grateful to our uh, uncle, uh, Dr. and Mrs. Ajayi Majebi. We are grateful also to many of our fathers who have come in here, Barista Kenya, the 
Again, I've mentioned that Kelly family, Mrs. Jansita Rushoga, my former registrar, and uh, all those who are here. I am sorry, I, the boys' brigade is here, and um, I think I've mentioned them. I, the eminent clergy wives, oh yes. But all fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, please pardon me if I've not mentioned you by name. I am grateful. Cathedral, I must thank you very much for hosting this uh, event. And uh, God will reward you as we work together in Jesus' name. Please, all of you are very special to me. Pardon me if I've not mentioned your names. God Almighty will recognize you and reward you. And I pray that as you go back home, the Lord will go with you. Thank you for sparing the time. Thank you for the preparation. And thank you for your time. We are grateful again to the uh, Shui Waju of Ijesha. Thank you very much, sir. Baba, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are grateful. Thank you again, representative of the governor. Thank you for your patience. God bless you. Above all, my wife, who has been with me and who has been the pillar of success behind my ministry, a woman of prayer, a woman of love, a woman of candor, the mother of our children and the grandmother of our various grandchildren. We are grateful to the president of the Women and Guest Organization of this our great diocese of Elisha, Barista, Mrs. Harriet, Sheo, Ashaju, Ni Olumakai. Thank you very much, Mama Elisha. Thank you very much. And I thank God for our children. I thank God for the Doherty family. Baba and Mama Doherty, they are here. Our father-in-law, we are very grateful. The father of our eldest daughter, Dr. Banke, the husband of Dr. Odun Doherty in Sheffield, United Kingdom. We thank God for our son, Dr. Leke, the husband of our second daughter, Barista Messi, Olua Fikayo Ashaju. And we thank God for our son, Samuel Oladapo Ashaju. And we thank God for our grandchildren. We are grateful. I've left out somebody in the Olumakaye family, His Royal Highness, the Olu of Ofosu, and is the next to my wife in the Olumakaye family. I thank you very much. So all relatives, we are grateful to you. Thank you for your patience. The Lord will be with you. And the hand of the Lord will go with you as you go in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. And thank you for the committee, for the refreshment you have provided for all the guests. The Olufadejis, the Olufadejis, the family friends to us and their longest, we are grateful. Thank you to all our friends. Eshio, God bless you. Please pardon me if I've left out your name. The Lord will reward you in Jesus' name.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Because you have come, the blessings and the presence of the Lord will abide with you forever. Because we have prayed, the peace, the mercy, the favor, and the glory of the Lord will be upon you all, your families, this diocese, this town, Ijeshalan, and Nigeria forever in Jesus' name. As you have come, God Almighty will reward you and take you home. The presence of the Lord will be with you. Whatever may be your heart desires, the Lord will grant unto you. Goodness and mercy of the Lord will be your portion forever in the name of Jesus. Every battle in your life you will overcome. God will open the windows of heaven and shower his blessings upon you and your family. For the rest of this year, we shall testify of the goodness of the Lord. For all our fathers who have officiated and all those who have functioned, legal officers and the clergy and the lay, God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. The Lord will bless our episcopate and our service in your midst in Jesus' name. Again, I commit you into the hands of the Almighty God who is more than able to keep and reward you. And I pray that God Almighty will satisfy you with his loving kindness and tender mercy. He will give you all good things that heaven and earth can provide. God will grant peace to our land. God will help us in our leadership. God will choose good leaders for us. God will protect our going out and our coming in. God will bless all our fathers and mothers. God will bless all our young ones. Those who have no jobs, the Lord will open doors for them. Those who are rising, God will protect and keep them in Jesus' name. Those who are working, God will prosper and enlarge your cause. The Lord will reward you for all you have done in making this service to become a success in Jesus' name. All workers, God Almighty will be with you. The anointing of the Lord will never run dry in your life. As you have come here today, I pray that the best that God can give will be given unto you. For the rest of your life, it is well with you. Ogbo Color party, please come in to match the colors.
that we draw him. The Lord be with you. Before we continue in singing the withdrawal hymn, the blessings of the city of Elisha and the diocese of Elisha. O oh Lord Jesus, we commend to the compassion of thy sacred heart, which alone is sufficient for our human need, our city of Elisha 
and the entire diocese of Elisha. O Lord Jesus, forgive its sins, hide its shame, and heal its sorrow. Look down in mercy upon all who suffer by poverty, by sickness, or want disappointment or another. Have in thy care the outcast, the fallen, and those who have no work. Open doors for them. Bless all our young ones. Make them worthy leaders of tomorrow. Let your peace dwell in our land. Be with our KBAC. Be with all the churches. Take pity on the victims of loss, intemperance, and self-indulgence. Strengthen thy church to labor wisely and devoutly in restoring the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. We pray through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. And so we bless this city in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Viewers, do remember to call in with your comments, questions. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Reach out to us on any of our social media handles showing on your TV screen now. And before we dive into the trending news, I hear there's a trending news that happened yesterday. Smart. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see a man who has chosen the pathway of joy, irrespective of the prevailing mm, situation. situation. Even if the fig tree doesn't blossom, my mind is set on rejoicing yes, in the God oh. of my salvation. When a man comes to that point, mm. you see joy like a river mm -hmm. unending, flowing, flowing mm -hmm. into his life. God say, I am about to do the unusual. Oh, Can yes. I speak for you? Perhaps ah, you have oh, asked oh, an oh, issue oh, that you need God.